Welcome back and today we are flying out the premium F4S for the American Tech Tree. In essence this is essentially an F4J with A9Hs as well as a better turn rate. It does not get Agile Eagle but it gets the naval equivalent which is roughly the same thing. It does turn slightly worse and it is compounded by the fact that you have that massive gun pot underneath the vehicle but if you are flying the F4J then this thing is just a straight up Upgrade if you are looking to grind top tier and you are willing to shell out 70 bucks because it is kind of overpriced It's not that amazing. The radar isn't that great if you don't have any top tiers in America The F4J and the F4S are not meta by any stretch of the imagination But they are still some of the better phantoms that you will find in the game So if you are looking for phantoms if you are looking for planes to grind out the American tech tree, then yes, this is a pretty solid contender. However, I still think that it's completely overpriced. But at least you get some value out of it, opposed to the fact when you buy the F4J UK, also known as the F4 Junk. Because that thing is just borderline useless. This thing, however, will get some stuff done. But it's the almost the same boat as with the QNS 2000, which I covered two days ago. If you want a more in-depth comparison between all these vehicles, I advise you to check out the Kunas video that I made two days ago. But in general, these two planes fly essentially the same way. You still don't have much flight performance. You will not reverse many people. You will not get out of many sticky situations if the enemy wants you to die. However, the radar and the missiles are still okay, but it's a straight up downgrade. To what you will find on the Kunas. The Kunas turns better, has an internal gun, has better missiles, has the same radar missiles, is faster because the gun pot isn't there, and altogether the Kunas is just a superior plane. This thing, however, is no slouch either. The Agile Eagle system, well, it's not exactly an Agile Eagle, but the improved turn rate is definitely welcome in a plane like this because the other variants are just completely dead in the water. When it comes to fighting basically anything. We have a MiG-23 here that keeps running back to the airfield. And every time I go for the head-on. He turns around. Runs back to the airfield. And my teammate is worried that he is baiting me towards his airfield. Well in reality it's the other way around. I'm trying to get this guy a little bit closer to us. That he actually takes the fight. I keep breaking off and see if he actually comes back for us. And every time I try to go back in. He turns back out. And he goes straight back to the SAM sites. We get these absolute massive maps nowadays and people still do this. People that say AA is a good thing. This is exactly why it blows. He has a superior vehicle. He will win this fight all day long and he still will not engage me on fair terms. Until I break off, I give him my direct 6 and I'm now forced to go defensive because he is next to his AA emplacement. And yes, I can ground pound, but guess what happens? He then mops me up as well. So we are just going to run away from this, from this guy for a little bit. And I know that he doesn't want to go head on with my AIM-7Fs. So what I'm going to try to do here is use the terrain, get him close enough. And then I'm going to fire a missile off regardless. If it tracks or not, doesn't really concern me. Worst case scenario, I lose some weight. So I shoot off the missile. That's not going to pull in. He dodges it in time. And because we have the Agile Eagle system, because we're going a little bit slower, I will get within this guy's turning circle our fuel is also very very low and this is gonna make it so that we can just sit inside this guy turning circle which is exactly what we want we then miss our shots but because this guy never fights anyone on fair terms because he likes to use his aa he just ends up turning directly in front of us the reason why i'm flaring so profusely is because i don't want to get team killed by our ja 37 Thank you very much for the fight. And the Agile Eagle really just comes in play in moments like that. It's really helpful to have a little bit of extra turn rate. Yes, it will break your turn in a few turns. But at least you will be able to get the first, second, maybe third turn in. At least get your nose somewhat close. And if the enemy makes a mistake, you are probably going to get a shot on them. And once you get shots on people, a lot of enemies just don't know what to do. I can't really fault them. Dogfighting in top tiers is vastly different to something like props or subsonics. So, can I really fault them? No, but it does net you a lot of kills in the end. And again, I'm gonna try to stay low. I'm gonna kind of skim the battlefield just so that I do not get radar missiled from every angle. I can go lower. You saw me do it 
the previous engagement I kind of went under the missile, missile goes into the ground, he then tries to go for us and he gets taken down by another teammate. Normally if you get locked up by a radar, you can almost bet your ass on the fact that they are only going to be looking at that little box. It's like the FOV turns into the radar box that has you locked. They do not look around anymore, they do not care about other missiles coming in, they don't look in front of them even. It feels like they just do nothing anymore and they just want to guide that missile in. And that's fine with me, because that means that my team gets an incredibly easy time trying to clean you up. And now there's two MiG-23s at altitude, I switch to the HMD's nuts and I just kind of start locking people up. I go for the heat seeker on that guy so I can switch over to the AIM-7F on the second dude. We lock him up, he goes head on, missile one, missile two. Two MiG-23s down in very quick succession and the MiG-29 on the right over there is kind of worrying me. We then go for the missile on the MiG-27. The MiG-27 starts notching us however and this is exactly why this radar kind of blows ass. He goes a little bit sideways, the missile does not want to keep tracking. And that's not because he's notching the missile, that's because he's notching our radar. Because if you shoot the exact same missile in the same scenario with the Kunas or the EJ Kai, that missile would have connected relatively easily. And I'll try to go for the MiG-27, I want this guy to be dead. And then I switch on over to the MiG-29 because I notice him coming in and I need him to be dead. The MiG-29 is going to absolutely ruin our day and he does the exact same thing as the previous guy did. He goes a little bit sideways and the missile is instantly defeated. Yes, he's notching properly. Also no, not every missile is that easy to notch. We then go head on with the MiG-27. We managed to nick his engine. It says damage of engine. He's smoking quite profusely. And we're just gonna dive out. I don't want to deal with this guy. At least as of right now. The F-14 is running after the MiG-29. Which is great. And then the MiG-27 actually gets crit. And his engine started to die. So he is basically dead in the water. And I can just kind of ignore this guy. I'm just gonna fly away from him. I hope that he turns back to the airfield. And I will then turn around. And I will now notify my F-14... That this guy has no engine and that he's essentially dead. Because now the F-14 should just kind of focus on the MiG-29 and not really worry about the MiG-27. But what does he do instead? He full commits to the dead guy and now I have to 1v1 a MiG-29 in the F-4S. Not exactly ideal, but hey, maybe we can manage. We will now go directly at him. I don't want to web too much because I don't know how passive this guy is going to play it. Some MiG-29s are very scared of getting reversed and stuff. But I get underneath him, I'm going a little bit slower and I will get the first shot here. So I'm going to start shooting. But this guy just has too much energy and I can break off here. But then I'm dead. So I'm going to try to stick. I'll probably die if I stick it. But I'm just hoping that this guy messes up. I'm just hoping that he reverses his turn into us. But he does not. He actually completes his turn. He instantly gets behind us. Because the MiG-29 got quite a hefty upgrade in the last patch. Drop the throttle. We start dropping flares and we try to cut inside of his loop the issue is i can't really slow down because i'm already going too slow and here we are my first time where i actually died that's why i didn't uh, cut off the clip because i actually died this time i can't believe it either but in all seriousness the mig 29 here he is forced to make a mistake or i am forced to rely on the mistake i don't really have a winning plan there so i tried to do something i tried to go after him in the corkscrew i hope that he would reverse his turn try to maybe go into a rolling scissor because a lot of guys do that he didn't and it instantly punishes me if i don't take it and i run away the exact same thing would have happened the issue there is if the mig-29 flies it right he's faster he accelerates better he is more maneuverable and on top of that he also got a little bit of a buff in the previous update also here I am flying without a gun port and I'm gonna show you exactly why I never do it. I did it on accident here but I decided to keep it in regardless. MiG-29s, F-16s, they're all just kind of annoying to deal with in this thing. And it really just ruins your day if the enemy plays it right. So when people say I do this and this in this plane all the time. Yes, but how often do you run into someone that doesn't just completely bin the fight? Anecdotal evidence amounts to basically nothing. MiG-29 notches me. I dodge his missile kinetically. And we go for the next missile as well. And now we are in a very annoying spot. Because we have a Ness here coming in. Is it Nets? What is it called? Well, the thing that just passed by us. And the MiG-29. I can't even go for the guy in front of me. Because I don't have a gun. 
right here same story we go a little bit slow the mig 29 now is actually going a little bit quicker and just like that as you see we are actually somewhat reversing him but i can't even stick the fight if i wanted to if it was 1v1 because i don't have a gun there is no reason for me to stick that fight i'm forced to run away again this makes me do absolutely nothing luckily my team comes in digs down the nest the nets and then the mig 29 comes in and here comes the Twitter user of the F-16. I'm trying to keep the MiG-29 straight so he can be cancelled. And I just want to make sure that I don't fly into his gun. Luckily, that doesn't happen. And we win the game. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you all in the next one.